Hi students, welcome back. In the previous class, we learned about the cities of medieval world. Today, we will learn about the eastern cities. All of you know that so many big cities and commercial centers flourished in the medieval period. One of the most important cities of medieval period was the eastern cities. Baghdad, the capital city of Abbasid Empire, was an important center of trade and commerce during the medieval period. The markets of Baghdad were flooded with the rare articles from different parts of the world. Another famous commercial center was Constantinople, the capital of Eastern Roman Empire. The commodities coming through the Silk Route and the Spice Route were brought to Europe through these cities. One important port city of that time was Basara on the banks of the river Tigris. Other important cities of the medieval period were Aden, Mecca, Muscat and Damascus. Calicut was an important commercial center and a seaport of the Silk Route. Ships from Central Asia and Europe anchored at Calicut to load them with spices. Surat in Gujarat was another trade center. Next, the guilds. The greatest speciality of the medieval socio-economic structure was the guilds. These guilds were the associations of experts in different occupational sectors. There are two kinds of guilds. Merchant guilds, craft guilds. The rapid increase of trade in the medieval European cities, the formation of specific occupational sectors, the necessity to withstand the excessive taxation and exploitation, and the sense of organization were the factors which led to the formation of the guilds. The aims of the guilds were to foster mutual help and cooperation, maintain the monopoly of the markets, and the attainment of economic stability. The merchant guilds were the first to emerge. Intercity leagues were formed linking the cities for the progress of trade. The Hanseatic League is an example for this, which regulated the trade activities of many cities of Europe. The craft guilds were the associations of different artisans and craftsmen of the medieval period. Every occupational group like leather workers, carpenters, blacksmiths, etc. had separate guilds. Industrialization and growth of science and technology etc. led to the decline of guild system. Next, responsibilities of the guilds. Framing labor laws, division of labor, maintaining the quality of products, determining the mode of sale, fixing of prices, determining working hours. I will repeat it again. There were two kinds of guilds, merchant guilds and the craft guilds. What were the factors which led to the formation of guilds? The rapid increase of trade in the medieval European cities, the formation of specific occupational sectors, the necessity to withstand the excessive taxation and exploitation and the sense of organization. Next, aims of the guilds to foster mutual help and cooperation, to maintain the monopoly of the markets and the attainment of economic stability. Next, decline of guild system, industrialization and growth of science and technology. Next, responsibilities of the guilds, framing labor laws, division of labor, maintaining the quality of products, determining the mode of sale, fixing of prices, determining working hours. 
Hope you all understood what we learned today. We will meet in the next class with the rest of the portions. Thank you.